Fans gathered Wednesday night for the ninth annual Hudson Valley Baseball Classic at Dutchess Stadium. Student athletes signed autographs and took pictures with fans pregame and Marist head football coach Jim Parody threw out the first pitch. The Red Foxes faced the Black Knights in hopes of pulling ahead in the two teams' four and four streak in the classic. Let's go. In a midweek situation after playing yesterday, you know, we were uh, a little bit thin and, you know, had to go uh, make a couple different moves, but uh, not uncommon in these games. And, you know, I thought Ryan did a pretty good job. He made one bad pitch and, you know, kind of burnt us a little bit. But, uh, you know, overall, I thought on the, on the mound, we actually threw the ball pretty well today. I thought Evan Davis and Sean Keenan on the mound did a really nice job and had positive outings, which they needed. Um, you know, those two guys kind of stood, stood out for me because they did the things that we've been working on, you know, and they, um, you know, they put in the hard work and, and, and kind of got the results today, which was nice. Offensively, I thought, um, you know, we didn't have anybody that had the big, the, the big hit. You know, uh, obviously Nick McQuayle had the, you know, the, the double that um, I think he scored a run there, and, and you know, he did some did some really good things. You know, you know, we didn't put enough good swings on, uh, you know, together with runners in scoring position. But again, we had nine hits, so you know, kind of was spread out through the lineup. Uh, so probably not one guy that really jumped off the page, but it was kind of a, um, you know, team effort. and We needed one more hit. 4-4 four and four at Dutchess Stadium before Wednesday night, Maris ultimately fell to the Black Knights 4-2. The Red Foxes return home Saturday, April 26th, where they face Mac Foe, Canisius. For the Red Fox Network, I'm Elizabeth Sim.